My name's Troy Lee, and um, we're here to paint some helmets and uh, work with Evergreen a little bit on some of the trails. Evo's been a great company, so it's super cool to come up to Seattle and check it out. Beautiful store. Stoked to be here. In uh, 1974, my grandfather bought a Honda franchise in uh, Tustin, California, and um, when he bought the franchise, they got two Elsinore uh, 125s and uh, sent them up to me and my brother, and we tore up the hills on motorcycles, started painting my friends' helmets and painting signs and just anything that came along, and never thought it would turn into a business, but uh, yeah, that's what got me started, is painting helmets, and so I'm still doing it 38 years later here tonight, and um, it's a dream come true. When the mountain bike scene came on, a lot of my friends that were running Lycra with a little teeny beanie on their head, and they just, I mean, the first races I went to, they didn't even have forks, you know? And I'm like, man, these guys are going way too fast to be running Lycra and a, a little teeny road bike helmet on the top of their head, you know? I just thought I could see the trend growing. I was enjoying it, and um, I just said, man, these guys need a full-face bicycle helmet. So I'm pretty stoked. I think we were the first people to build a a full face mountain bike helmet. It started really with a, a showy helmet, which we have one here tonight. They sent me their new jet ski helmet and I put a visor and graphics on it. And then I decided, hey, it should have a full face because quite a few of my friends were crashing and tearing their faces up. Basically, the athletes are doing more crazy stuff. So my whole job is just to see how I can build the best protection out there and keep these guys safe. You know, I mean, Rampage is another crazy event that just keeps scaring me. <laughs> and. Um, they're all my friends that are out there doing it, and I just uh, feel obligated to build something better for them. That's what keeps me in business. You know, I spend probably 50% of my time in the paint department, and um, it's where we get to experiment with new ideas and new colors and patterns and everything. And a lot of what we see on the helmets turns into production, and then it goes upstairs but it's definitely our roots and it's, it's the funnest place to be. The funnest thing for my company is to be able to paint one helmet for one person. Make the racer really happy, you know.